Hi there, thanks for joining us for this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. So after a rather breezy and quite unsettled week, looks like we're in for something a little bit calmer. So let's start by taking a look at the jet stream. So quite an amplified pattern at the moment. You can see it's very strong um, out in the Atlantic here, quite a ridged pattern as well. And in this ridge, you can see we're just on the edge of it in this area of high pressure that's developing. Um, but as we go through the week, really strong area of jet stream, steering areas of low pressure to the north of us perhaps sort of clipping eastern britain at times where a few spells of rain or showers are expected but generally the pattern turning weaker and slightly more zonal as we go towards the weekend so slightly less of a amplified pattern and you can see here that we're still in that kind of ridged area where that high pressure has built but also the strong jet stream having an impact on the air mass temperature as well and although this might not look very exciting um, those sort of greeny yellow colors over us that's indicating quite mild air for us in that ridge of high pressure while elsewhere um, to the north of the jet stream some colder air and you can see that with those blue colors and you can just see as we put this into play those sort of yellow and green colors staying over us pushing into Greenland Iceland for a time as well and that cold air that it displaces will come over Scandinavia plummeting into central parts of Europe as well so turning colder over here over the next few days as well but as you can see we're generally staying in these milder colors uh, the yellows and the greens here maybe as that sort of as that air of jet brings that cold air slightly closer to us maybe a few eastern places will be chillier at times but generally we're in that milder air for the next few days so let's take a look at the pressure pattern then. And for tonight and into tomorrow, it looks like we'll have high pressure centered quite close to Ireland. So bringing us um, some quite settled conditions here. And you can just see a front sort of clearing eastern areas tonight. And then as we go through the day tomorrow, most places will stay largely dry and bright with that high pressure. Just a few showers possible along eastern areas, but otherwise a very pleasant day for many places. And then into Thursday, high pressure still staying generally out to the west. And I think that's the idea as we go through the next few days generally. Um, the, just the idea that through Thursday, this little front will sort of slide down the North Sea, perhaps pushing showers or longer spells of rain into eastern areas. And then sort of continuing into Thursday night, but weakening as we go into Friday, maybe pushing some showers into parts of Wales and England. But generally that high pressure is helping to keep most places dry through the next few days. So there'll be plenty of settled conditions around. I'm sure there'll be some sunshine too. Just a few things to mention under that area of high pressure. There are some chilly mornings possible. So a few risks of uh, ice, also some mist and fog patches, uh, particularly in the south on Saturday morning, but also should mention tomorrow morning the risk of mist, fog and ice patches too. And by the end of the day on Saturday, a cold front sort of just approaching northwestern areas may just push a few showers into these places. But for the most place, it's staying quite settled over the next few days. And that's great news if you're planning some spraying. There seems to be a lot of spraying opportunities over the coming days, which you can see from the extent of the green colours over this map indicating ideal spraying conditions. You can see in eastern parts, it might not be great at times due to the spells of rain or showers that are possible here, but you can't argue with that extent of green colours over the map showing those dry conditions, those light winds, great for getting some spraying done. And if you're after sort of lots of different weather information, if this is a crucial time of year for you, which I'm sure it is for many people, then the best place to go for that information is our farming portal. There's lots of different information here that you wouldn't normally get uh, freely available on the internet. You can see different sort of probabilities for uh, rainfall as well as solar radiation, some really interesting variables. You can also see the jet stream, which is really useful as well at this time of year, as well as our 10 day forecast and lots of other different things on this portal. So a really interesting place to go for all your weather information just get in touch with us at info at weatherquest.co.uk to set up your free two-week trial so taking a look a bit further ahead then to the early part of next week, looks like high pressure that was sort of dominating to the west of the UK will slip slightly further uh, down towards the southwest of Britain, but still generally keeping conditions settled for many places, particularly in the south and east. Meanwhile, as that does slip away to the south, spells of rain might become more likely in the northwest as weak fronts do tend to approach as that more zonal jet stream drives areas of low pressure to the north of Britain. So a few spells rain here at times but otherwise many places still staying dry under that influence of high pressure. 
into the latter part of next week, it does look like that area of high pressure that was sort of centered to the southwest will drift slowly eastward, so maybe becoming centered across southern Britain for a time, more likely into northwestern parts of Europe. So still helping to keep southeastern places on the drier side of things, but those weak fronts starting to push more into northwestern areas, so Scotland, Ireland, northwestern parts of England and Wales, does look like it could become more unsettled as we go into the later part of next week. So let's take a look at our chart for the chance of a dry day. We show this quite often. Uh, Dan used it last week and you can see it's looking uh, pretty similar to the way we had it last week as well. If anything, that drier period, those brown colours have just become slightly more widespread. So good news if you're after those dry conditions. I know they're very important at this time of year and you can see they're quite widespread um, across the map. These, these are places in the UK uh, going down the side there and across as with time over the top. Um, and you can see these brown colours, very high or a high chance of a dry day for many places and those are quite widespread, so indicating we're into a spell of more settled weather. Interesting things to note as we go into Wednesday, some eastern parts such as Norwich, maybe a less chance of a dry day with those showers there. And into Thursday as showers and rain maybe become widespread across eastern parts, a few eastern areas in those green colours there as well, suggesting a low chance of a dry day with those showers and spells of rain around. But then really from Friday we can see a lot of those brown colours becoming widespread across the map. The only real exception to this is this area of northwest Scotland which does hang on to those green colours throughout as those weak fronts maybe push spells of rain or showers into those areas at times. Now as we go towards the sort of last part of March into the first part of April you can see that those whites and those green colours become a bit more widespread across the chart here so maybe indicating as we said a slightly more return to unsettled conditions in northern and western areas here but southeastern parts hanging on to those brown colours for a little bit longer so staying settled for longer here but really as we go into the tail end of March into the first part of April a lot more of these these green and white colours across the map so not such a high chance of a dry day. Still, the best chance to get dry weather is in the southeast, but becoming more likely to see slightly more unsettled conditions and the, the worst of those in the northwest, obviously, showers or spells of rain um, at times here. And you can see that continuing as we go into April um, and even sort of those green colors becoming across parts of um, southern and eastern areas into April. Um, so it does look like it might turn slightly more unsettled for a time, but a few brown colours right at the end there, suggesting sort of a hint of maybe something slightly more settled into the middle of April. So let's take a look at our monthly forecast then. This is as we go into week three. So that high pressure that we've been talking about, I think the idea is into week three, it might slip slightly further south. So that will allow those slightly more unsettled conditions to come in for that sort of uh, change over time, that last bit of March, that first bit of April, as that jet stream starts to push more areas of low pressure in from the Atlantic, obviously sort of most likely across parts of Northern Britain. But I think we could see some spells of rain or showers in the south at times times two but this is where high pressure is closest so there'll be ridges of high pressure from the south at times so I imagine we'll have a mixed bag of conditions as we go into week three lots of things to think about and yeah you can see that here really it's northwestern parts of Britain that are in those green colors those wetter than average conditions while the rest of the, the British Isles kind of stays in those white colors so things won't be drier than average but they are looking close to average so there'll be some there'll be some dry weather but there'll also be showers or spells of rain at times but looking towards the rest of Europe where that high pressure is more centered over southern areas lots of brown colors here indicating drier than average conditions whereas further north more of those green colors and wetter than average conditions in terms of temperatures, most of the continent is looking to have above average temperatures. That cold air that we mentioned at the right at the very start of the video, all having sort of moved away to the south and east. Um, so a milder week for us as we go into week three. So continuing those milder than average temperatures. And then as we go into week four, that little area of high pressure slifted maybe slightly further north. So suggesting as we go towards the middle of April that things might return to a slightly more settled pattern. And obviously with, with that high pressure does become the risk of a few chilly nights under any clear skies and the risk of mist and fog patches too. But generally perhaps some drier than average conditions as well.
and you can see that on this uh, precipitation anomaly. Lots of those brown colours over western parts. A little bit more unsettled perhaps over central areas where those white and those green colours are, but some brown colours to the east as well, indicating another area of high pressure building here. In terms of temperatures, I think as we go into week four, we'll probably return slightly closer to average. There's no strong signals for anything as of yet, while those above average temperatures linger across Scandinavia, northeastern Europe, and of course, Iberia as well. So just to summarize for you then, there could be a few weak fronts bringing showers or spells of rain in the east over the next couple of days, but otherwise high pressure will keep things settled for many places. But just remember with that is the risk of mist, fog and ice patches some mornings. Showers or spells of rain will begin to affect northwestern areas as that high pressure sort of moves away to the south. So there is the risk of things turning slightly more unsettled from the northwest, bit of a northwest southeast split going on. And then maybe even slightly more unsettled as we go into early April and that high pressure shifts away uh, towards the continent, shifts away to the south. So uh, potential for sort of more in the way of showers or spells of rain, but also some drier conditions as well. And then towards the middle part of April as that high pressure look to become more dominant from the south once again, perhaps things are becoming settled too. Thanks so much for watching this week's WeatherQuest farming forecast. As always, we'd love to hear from you. So please do get in touch via our social media and leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel.